Are you worried about sharing account transactions with a customer? An account statement may help you in that case. For each of your customers, you can provide them with a transaction summary based on a month, a quarter, or even a year. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates, and VBA related answers. On this blank worksheet, we will learn how to create account statement in Excel. We will use Excel 365 for that. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. As you can see, we have a title here in a merge cell within B2 to G2. Now in B4, we will type company name, address, phone. Now in B8, we will add the customer name, same address of the customer, then phone. Now in E4, let's type account summary from the date to the account statement is going to end till then previous balance due new charges to add all the charges here total payment total balance due now in b14 let's add date tab in c14 description reference or ref charges as in cash ins payments as in cash outs and finally balance after including and excluding all of them now let's select e4 to g4 and clicking on control key click on b12 to g12 now from the home tab under the alignment group click on merge and center now select e5 to f5 and from the alignment group click on merge drop down here select merge cells now while we have e5 selected click on format painter from clipboard group and now select e6 to f10 now let's format rest of the cells click on b4 to c6 Press Ctrl and select B8 to C10, E4 to G10, then B12 to G12, then B14 to G20. And from the Home tab under the Font group, click on the Borders drop down and choose All Borders. Now it's convenient for us to follow. Now in B12, we will add a formula to add equals, then double quotation, account statement of here we will add our customer name ampersand c8 where our customer name will be again ampersand to join double quotation space from january 23 till march 23 till this quarter double quotation and enter now we can see there are nothing in the name option if we click on here and type john smith now we can see that account statement of john smith duration for this quarter now let's highlight our title select b4 to b6 pressing and control select b8 to b10 then e4 e5 to e10 b12 finally b14 to g14 and from the font group let's make them bold for the font size choose 12 now pressing and control let's deselect e5 to e10 now from the font group choose fill color as this one and from the alignment group choose center alignment now it looks better right now for the transaction details we will add date description reference charges payments from a dummy sheet we have copied it using ctrl c and we'll paste it here using ctrl v here we can see our previous due which means the initial balance now charges are cash ins and payments are cash outs 
So let's click on E15 to E20 and from the font group under the home tab, click on fill color and choose green as cash-ins and F15 to F20 as red as in cash-outs. Now to calculate the balance, let's click on G16 to G20 and in the formula bar, let's type a formula equals the balance which is G15 plus the charges which is E16 minus the cash out which is F16. Now press on control enter and we can see all of the values are added automatically. Here the formulas are changed accordingly just as we wanted. Now for our account summary we will add the information from here. From date will be the first date here. Two will be equals the last date. Now previous balance due will be equals the first balance. New charges will be summation of the charges column. And for payment it will be F column. So sum F15 to F20. Now total balance due will be the final balance. Enter. Now let's add a dummy company name M2 Corporation. Now for their address and phone number, we can copy paste it or even manually type them. And for the customer address and phone number, we can use dummy value as well, like that. Now using these elaborate steps, you can also create account statement in Excel. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.